Good morning, and I'm Kelsey Marsh, and I'm here today interviewing Miss Young, the deputy head at the Great Coat Hospital, about body image and insecurities of teenage girls. So, Miss Young, when you were younger, did you have any insecurities about yourself? Yes. Should I expand? Yes. <laughs> uh, it was all about my nose. What, what was wrong with your nose, Miss? Well, it still is, darling. Big and wide. And my brothers and sisters used to tease me horribly about it. Did you ever see any celebrities or any role models that you wanted to look like when you were younger? No, because the way that celebrities um, present themselves now are not, is not the way celebrities used to present themselves in my day. Um, you've got people who are talentless and make a lot of money out of being talentless in my day. You had to earn your living a little bit more than, than they do now. So, no, I didn't emulate or want to be like anyone I ever saw on the TV. Did you ever try to change the way you looked at all? I tried sleeping with a peg on my nose. That was very painful. And I woke up with indentations on my nose. So that's what would happen. That, that was real. Okay, Miss. Thank you very much. Uh, Miss Young, do you think that males have an input on the way girls look at themselves? I've got to say, sadly, yes. Um, I think sometimes women don't dress for themselves. I think sometimes they would they would argue that they do dress for, them, for themselves, but I think if they did, did they would dress probably more comfortably. Um, and I just think it's a matter of what's happened over time in terms of the fashion industry that is pretty much dictated by men. So it's men who really dress women, and we don't really actually dress ourselves. And if we were honest enough, I think we'd recognise that we'd probably be more comfortable wearing a duvet than what we currently wear as women. Thank you very much. I'm now here with Miss Johnson, the PE teacher in the Grey Coat Hospital, head of PE, and we're going to ask her some questions. Miss, when you were younger, did you have any insecurities about the way you looked? Um, I would probably say that most of my insecurities came from being a dancer, and there's a lot of pressure as a dancer to look a certain way, um, particularly to be skinny, no fat whatsoever, and building the muscle. Um, but look, I would say as I got older, I appreciated my body and the talents that I had and realised that that was what's more important than the way that I looked in the end. Miss, did you have any celebrities that you looked at and decided that you wanted to be exactly like them? Uh, when I was younger, it was a lot about being skinny. So again, being stick thin was the way that everybody wanted to be. And you do get influenced by it. And I think it's good to see nowadays that actually the media do try to push and portray that being curvy is better and appreciating your body. There's all those... Um, adverts out at the moment for girls can and being proud of your body so I think that that is something that is good at the moment in the media. Thank you Miss. Miss do you think that males have an input on the way girls feel about themselves? Um, I think males definitely do have an influence on the way that girls feel about themselves and again I think it's completely wrong that that's how girls feel but unfortunately that is what society portrays that men are superior in their opinions that we have to try and do what we can. Um, to impress the males, which I think is completely wrong, and girls need to really be proud of their bodies, be proud of who they are and their talents, and get the respect that they deserve. Go girls. <laughs> Kiara, every day boys approach girls with different lines, new chat up lines, new things to say. If a boy was to approach you and say, Oi Spice, you're looking like you you look nice here, what would you say? Um, thank you, but if they were with their friends, I think that that it wasn't there or something because yeah. So do boys make you feel a bit weird and a bit insecure sometimes? Yeah. So when you get on the bus and there's a big group of boys there, what would you normally do? If they're all sitting at the back of the bus, would you go to the back or would you move? Sit at the front. <laughs> sit at the front of the bus because you always feel like, what? They might start trying to talk to you or like, yeah. Do you feel like boys approach girls in the right way or do you think they're a bit weird with it? Yeah, they're a bit, you know, like, weird and... Forceful? Yeah. Okay, thank you, Kiara. Everyday girls look at newspapers and they think that girl looks nice, that celebrity looks nice, and they feel insecure about themselves. What's your opinion on the situation? Uh, I, um, they make people feel insecure, and I, I don't know what it is, but like sometimes you just feel like, damn, I need to look like that. But you actually don't need to look like that. But let me just say that celebrities that have fleeky eyebrows make everybody, it's like a trend, they set the trend, so you need to follow the trend or else you're an outlier, even though we're not in science, but still. Okay. Thank you, Angela. Bye. Do you ever find about what boys want and what boys want as an ideal girl and how they talk about girls? Um, I used to, but like I think everyone feels a bit like intimidated because of the way that like you're supposed to look for boys to get attention. You don't want to not get attention.
What do you think the ideal girl, ideal girl looks like? Uh, blonde hair, blue eyes, nice body, um, long eyelashes, high cheekbones, I don't know. Big bar. So that's what you think boys yeah. want in a girl? Yeah. And what do you think girls want in themselves? To be appreciated and like respected, like understood and like accepted by boys as well. But it's hard to be accepted if you don't look how you're supposed to look. Kitty, do you think there's such thing as ugly? So, stepping from primary school to secondary school, do you feel like it's a competition in secondary school about what girls need to look and how it all is? Yes, because everyone wants to be better than everyone else. Do you feel like it should be a competition? No. Do you think, what type, what type of way do you think a girl should look? What type of way do you think people think a girl should look? Oh, um, according to boys, you have to be buff, you have to have nice eyebrows and long eyelashes and... Your hair, you can't have weave on your head. Do you feel like any girl is perfect like that? No. Thank you, Maya. <laughs> so guys, how do you feel nowadays when it comes to boys and the things they say and the things you see on social media? Well, well. to be honest, <laughs> I don't think it should affect me because I'm my own person and I don't need to listen to anybody else. I agree with Joy. Um, yeah, sometimes it's a bit nerve-wracking because we go to an all-girls school and like, if there's bear boys on your fast or there's bear boys when you're passing where you're going home. 90% of girls in the UK are unhappy with their body shape. Why is that? Why can't we accept the way we look and our appearance? In the words of famous Kanye, someone's going to be smarter than you, someone's going to be better than you, and someone's going to be prettier than you. But no one is ever, ever going to be you.